Hello, and welcome back to Automobile Galaxy, your one-stop destination for the most fascinating stories in the world of aviation and automobiles. Today, we're diving into a secretive and powerful flying machine that many have never even heard of, the Beriev A60, a Soviet-era airborne laser laboratory that looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. The Beriev A-60 is not your typical aircraft. Built on the frame of the Ilyushin Il-76, a military transport aircraft, the A-60 was transformed into a laser weapon platform by the Beriev Design Bureau. This aircraft wasn't made for carrying troops or cargo. It was designed to carry a high-powered laser system with one mission in mind experimenting with the use of laser technology in the sky. Development of the A-60 began back in the late Tpachit Itoi, 1970s, at the height of the Cold War, when the arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union was pushing the boundaries of what was scientifically possible. The Soviet Union wanted to explore the idea of using lasers as weapons, possibly to shoot down missiles, blind enemy satellites, or even disable aircraft. To do that, they needed a flying laboratory, and the IL-76 was the perfect base. Its massive size and strong airframe made it ideal for carrying the heavy and complex laser equipment. The first modified aircraft, called 1A, took to the skies in 1981. Then a second version, 1A-2, was flown in 1991. These aircraft were fitted with some very distinctive features that made them instantly recognizable. In place of the standard nose cone was a large rotating turret for targeting the laser beam. On top of the fuselage sat a retractable dome that housed the main laser system, and two large nacelles were mounted underneath, one for the laser's power generators and the other for additional support systems. What kind of laser did it carry? It was a carbon dioxide laser, powerful enough to damage or disable certain targets from a long distance. This wasn't just for testing, it was a part of a broader Soviet strategy to develop advanced weapons that could counter American systems. In fact, the United States was working on something similar at the time. A project called the Airborne Laser, using a modified Boeing 747. After the fall of the Soviet Union, the A-60 project was put on hold, but in the 2000s, it was revived under a new code name, Sokol Echelon. The focus shifted slightly, with more emphasis on using lasers to interfere with or blind enemy satellites rather than destroy them. In one reported test, the A-60's laser successfully targeted a Japanese satellite in orbit, demonstrating just how far this technology had come. Despite its age, the A-60 remains a symbol of technological ambition and secret military advancement. It shows what happens when a country pushes the limits of science and engineering to gain an edge in warfare. Even though much of its current capabilities remain classified, the aircraft is occasionally seen in satellite images or during rare appearances at airfields, always sparking curiosity among aviation enthusiasts. As laser and directed energy weapon technology continues to evolve, the legacy of the Beriev A-60 lives on. It may have started as a Cold War experiment, but it paved the way for future developments in airborne laser systems, both in Russia and around the world. Thanks for watching today's episode on Automobile Galaxy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of aviation's most secretive projects, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We've got more fascinating stories coming your way. Until next time, keep exploring the skies with us.